Hi friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 20 in Kushto Query Language Playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about fork operator in Kushto Query Language. So before watching this video as a prerequisite, please consider watching videos from Azure Data Explorer playlist, at least three, four videos, and also watch the previous videos of Kushto playlist so that you will understand more about this video as well. So as I said, this video is to discuss about fork operator. Let's try to understand how it works with an example. So this fork operator actually runs multiple consumer operators in parallel. That means in a simple words, if you have multiple uh, sub queries and you want to run all of them in parallel and get the result of all that sub queries in parallel, then you can go for fork operator. If this is not making sense, let me explain you with an example so that you will get most sense of it. Let me go to browser. I, I opened Azure Data Explorer web version. You know this how to open dataexplorer.azure.com URL. I explained all this in the Azure Data Explorer playlist. So you know that. So here I am going to this run menu. Under run menu, I have already added a connection for the help cluster in which I have a samples database. Inside samples database, I have there is something called Strom events table. So this is Strom events table actually gives the Strom's related information for every state. So let me run this and show you. So let me hit this run button to run this uh, query that will get all the data from the Strom events table here. Now we got a data for Strom events table. And if you see here, we have all different types of states, Indiana, Texas, right? Everything for every state we have the data here. So now what I want to do is I want to run a query uh, using a fork operator that will give different states related information. For example, on top of this, if I write like this where, let me use where operator, where state equals to equals to maybe New York. So if I write like this, it will give me New York data. Let me write and let me hit this run button to practically show you this. See, it is giving me the New York information, right? This is good. Now I want to get Florida data. So what I can do similar query, I can paste it here and here instead of New York, I can say Florida. And when I execute this query, this time it is going to get me all the Florida state related information. You can see the results here, right? It is getting all the Florida state related information. Now these two are separate queries and the results when you run the query separately, separately results will come. The results will come under this table one tab, right? So what if I want to get these both results in a single query and get both the results at a time? So how I can do it is here after the Strom events, let me use like this, use fork operator here. And then after fork operator here, you can mention that uh, sub query like my sub query is where state equals to New York. So let me paste this here and then let me try to write another subquery. Same thing where state equals to Florida. Let me take that. Let me paste that here. So now let me remove all this code below, whatever I have it here for our better understanding. Now, if I execute this query, it will give me both the results at the same time. Let me hit this run button and let's see whether that will happen or not. Now, if you see, we got two results. We got here generic result in which we have the New York data. You can see here. And if I go to the another tab and here I got Florida data. See here we can clearly. So we can get multiple results by executing multiple operators or by executing multiple subqueries. Not only that, we can give a name to it. For example, here we are getting a tab names like generic result, generic result, right? I want here like for this result, I want this to be as maybe New York data. So what I can do here like this as I can mention like New York data. Okay. Similarly here I can mention like as uh, maybe Florida data. So if I do like this using this as operators, it will work and it will give the names to these output results. Let me hit this run button to execute this query and show you the results. Now if you closely observe in the results, I have New York data and I have Florida data, both the tabs. Okay. 
so not only that there is another way of also doing it so what i can do i, I no need to define here i can use it explicitly outside also let me show you that so what i can do here i can mention maybe this one i want like a and maybe this one i want like b so if i name like this also uh, the results will get the same names whatever we are giving here giving here so let me run this query this time and show you the results now my results will get like a table and b table in b we have florida data in a we have new york data so this is how uh, this fork operator will actually work and uh, the same examples whatever we discussed it is mentioned here we have both where here without any names to the output and but here we have names to the output not only this fashion we can give names in this fashion also so i hope you got an idea how this fork operator is working uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much